Hello everyone, BJ Stevens here with Finding Goosebump Moments. I don't know about where you are, but here in the Midwest, let me tell you something. Today it's so cold that even the even Frosty, the snowman outside, has got his thermal underwears on and a heavy wool coat. It is frigid around here. So I'm hoping that wherever you are, if the weather is inclement or cold or nasty, at least your your attitude and at least you bring a little ray of sunshine to you and your day and the people around you. I want to jump right in to this. I had such an amazing conversation about three days ago, and we it got into a very uh, serious discussion about personal development. I am all about personal development, and this person wasn't such a fan. Now, he gave good arguments, like, if I know who I am, why do I need to improve, and, and so forth. It, it is kind of a philosophy and a teaching that's becoming slightly more uh, present. And I, I want I want to point out some points about personal development because because of some of those screwed up people out there who are giving false information about personal development, it is swaying the belief that some people have. So I here's my effort to give recognition to Jim Rohn and and Les Brown and John Maxwell and Tony Robbins and all those people out there who are diligently working on showing you how to get involved in personal development and be better. So I've got some notes. I've got I've got what it is and what it isn't. And this is truly based on my 50 years, based on working personally working with Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, Les Brown, and John Maxwell, I can tell you from their point of view, this is exactly what they would be teaching. And if you are a student of any of those guys, and you watch their videos, and you listen to their teachings and philosophies, you're going to know that what I'm getting ready to announce and speak here is their opinion, their teachings that have sustained decades. So listen up. Personal development isn't reading volumes and volumes and volumes of all the right books and thinking, I've got it now. I understand it. That's not what personal development is. You do want to read. You do want to gain more information and more knowledge, but you want to do it and then apply what you've learned. It isn't, personal development isn't attending all the self-improvement workshops or motivational teachings or watching all the motivational videos, although that's a marvelous way to gain some knowledge. It doesn't instantly make you or award you any confidence. Personal development isn't. I it meant to identify your weak points or your flaws to make you feel unworthy, which is kind of where this this young man was coming from. That's not the point of personal development. It's made. It's the whole purpose is to help you become more self aware. It's not pointing out what you're, you're failing at. It's pointing out where you can grow. Personal development isn't a vehicle to earn money. It's not the one sole uh, means of getting you to any kind of financial success. Oh my God, personal development is more than just money. This is about you. Personal development isn't how to stand out in a crowd or, or best your competition. No, this is about self-awareness, self-development, self-growth, self actualization. That's what personal development is all about. Personal development isn't copying and emulating others just so that you can can be seen as successful or or have what they have. Now, personal development 
is personal. What talks to me? What speaks to me? What sings in my heart and my soul? What I'm going to identify with isn't what you will. My character, my strengths, my beliefs, my attitudes, although all of that can be changed as you grow and learn, it's still a personal matter. It involves you and your circumstances, your surroundings. Personal development is all about knowing who you are. It's identifying your true self understanding your core values and I will make a caveat there your core values can change as you grow your beliefs are going to change your philosophies are going to change because you're learning more you're experiencing more you're becoming more worldly more aware that's what personal development is all about it's getting you out of your tunnel vision and expanding your horizons so that you can understand where other people are coming from you can relate personal development is realizing your potentiality understanding you have significance that you have value worth importance a place a, a, a purpose in life a meaning I did a video yesterday I think or day before on that very subject you have to understand your own potentiality it's discovering personal development is discovering your own human capital it's becoming becoming aware of your talents and your skills there is no blueprint that we're given in life God doesn't when upon creation God doesn't hand you a blueprint and said okay now go and follow this what he does is instill in you talents and 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 skills but he doesn't help you find the key to unlock the door that's your job your job is to go out there and discover what your talents are that's that is what personal development is all about and then applying your own abilities talent is is something you're born with skill is something you develop then you take all your abilities and then you put everything you've learned and discovered and become more aware of and you go out there and place it into the universe you show others you treat others you you teach others you coach you mentor you support you lend a hand that's what personal development is all about it's it's also learning how to identify and enhance your talents and skills and then using those and putting them into practice what's what purposeful use is learning all of this information if you never once apply it don't sit back and say nothing is ever happening nothing's growing and you have spent a thousand dollars in the last six months on workshops and seminars and classes and 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 teachings and trainings and you never apply anything that they spoke to you that actually would work for you now remember personal development is personal it's subjective what works for me isn't going to necessarily work for you you take all of that and then you adapt it and apply it to your 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 presence your circumstances your surroundings don't just copy and paste and say well that didn't work because it worked for them how come it's not working for me because it's them you have to understand personal development is about you okay you have to understand the reality of your own quality of life personal development is self-discovery and awareness of you it's learning the assessment tools that are provided for you 
and understanding your own personalities and your behaviors and and what motivates you and what inspires you don't look for it for motivation understand how those lessons can motivate you it's identifying your strengths and your weaknesses that's something many of us don't want to admit that well I can't do that say it people will appreciate you so much more I would love to be able to do it I just can't do it that, that's that's important that you realize there are just some things in this life you cannot do committing to a personal growth plan many of us don't have that Jim Rohn talks about that a ton you have to have a personal growth plan a three-year plan a five-year plan a ten-year plan and you have to stay focused and you have to stay committed it is important that we do that personal development is understanding the impact of the decisions you make in your life that's what personal development is all about it's not a hocus pocus thing it's not it's some it's not just some philosophy floating out there in the air your your growth your education you know formal education teaches us the core basics reading writing arithmetic it's the personal development that takes place after college after high school that makes us continually grow as a human being some of those course things are not taught in school and that's a shame I will admit that's a that is a crying shame but until we get to that moment in life we have to be able to show others how important it is not to just remain stagnant not to just compromise if you want success if you if you truly know deep down you have more to give in life find out how to do that and you can only do that by taking the journey of personal development it's a lifelong class and it doesn't end until you're six feet in the ground it's a daily commitment a daily focus a daily drive daily commitment and I will tell you that 50 years later I'm still learning I still learn every day guys personal development is so much more than trying to one-up it's trying it's not a vehicle to earn more money this is about you take all the business away from it work on you work on you I was interviewed for a, a, a group today I did a, an interview that will be posted in a on a group page and we talked about your why now I haven't talked about that for so long and maybe tomorrow or no maybe Monday sorry tomorrow I we've got plans for the weekend Monday I will do a video on why your why and why your why is important and we have that screwed up too totally screwed up so it's the weekend coming up guys it's important that you work on yourself even if you only take five minutes or ten minutes a day do something that's gonna make you better go out and make somebody smile I always say that it's it's so easy to do and yet we're afraid to put ourselves out there to do it but go out there try it go out and, and make somebody at least smile do some some random act of kindness or or you know with the weather being so cold here in the area if you see a an animal freezing give them some means of warmth or some extra food or pick them up and, and hug them at least give them a few moments of body heat it, it's important that we do something now guys I'll end this like I always end I know that you are so good I know that you have such value such worth such importance and as Les Brown says that you have greatness I know this because I also know that you have magic we'll talk to you on Monday thanks everybody for your comments thanks everybody for joining me 
whether you join me live or on the on the replay and have a good weekend stay warm bye